Hello, this is Spellbinder's report. Ah, I'm going to try to explain to you why everything's happening as it is now across the world. All over the world, different things, phantoms, wars, banks robbing everyone, civilization crumbling because of it. It appears that the earth is getting ready to go to a shift of cataclysmic proportions. It seems like there's a polar shift taking place as we're speaking right now. And it seems like what's been going on is the robbing and the fleecing of the world is to finance and build these underground bunkers that they've been building for 20 years to put themselves in as the richest elitist people of this planet. They've been building these things for a long time and it's just now it's coming out why they're, they're just they're just they're robbing everyone they're bringing us down turning us into a they're trying to get us to fight each other and turn us into primitives again so when it all happens they will be able to arise out of these bunkers and become gods over us because they'll have all this technology that we have here and we won't have anything because they'll all be destroyed during the catechism as the earth shifts its pole the magnetic fields of the planet weaken and when they weaken the solar radiation gets to enter onto the planet and scorch that's is the reason why they actually built the seed vaults and put them underground as well as these bunkers because when the magnetic field weakens at a certain point it will allow all the solar radiation to to flood the surface of the planet killing everything and everyone in its wake and they know this is coming and they know it very well and so right now they're just fleecing and doing all this stuff and as far as we can tell, this could happen at any time. Because the, the Earth's magnetic field has been fluctuating. It's fluctuating because several things. Seals, seals are getting sunburned for the first time around the south and the north. Ice caps are melting. But the problem is most of the melting, if it's in the ocean itself, the ice, the sea level will not rise. It's a fact. Take a glass, fill it to the very top of ice, and then fill it up with water to the very brim of the glass to the inertia point. Let the glass sit there and let the ice melt. And you'll see that the level of the water drops because ice expands and the ice that the polar caps have air in them and when that happens the actual level will actually drop on the uh, water because the ice is no longer dispersing the water it's one of those eureka moments that was done uh, what else can I tell you that's of importance I can show you this this man here wrote a couple of books. One was called Not By Fire But By Ice. And we're going into a actually going into an ice age. He's got magnetic reversals and evolutionary leaps. This man's name is Robert W. Felix, writer and researcher on the polar shift as in the polar shifting magnetic north pole they closed tamper runway just lately since the 7th so they could redesignate the runway signage because it's no longer what it is or what it was before because the magnetic field has been moving 40 miles a year and their electrical compasses or the electronic compasses are off so they have to redesignate the runways to match the compasses precise 
alignment with the magnetic north because that's what they use. And it says that right here. It says scientists say the Earth's magnetic pole has been moving nearly 40 million or 40 miles a year towards Russia because of magnetic changes in the core of the planet. Where have you heard that before? Wasn't there a movie like 2012 or something? It had something to do with the magnetic core shifting. As a result of this shift, Tampa International Airport has closed its primary runway until the 13th in order to change the taxiway signage. And it was 19R slash 1L on the aviation charts. That's where it will become. But it was 18R 36 slash 36L indicating the alignment along the 180 degree approach from the north and the 360 degree approach from the south. Later this month, the airport will close other runways to re-designate them because of the magnetic shift in the poles. This is happening. This is just one thing. There's more. Lots more. The magnetic portals connect Earth to the Sun. Tons of high-energy particles may flow through the opening before it closes again around the time you reach the end of this page. I'm thinking that the magnetic reversal of the Earth could wreak havoc with these magnetic portals. Because they were saying in a NASA article, which I'll just show it to you real fast, magne magnetic portals connect Earth to Sun. 30th of October, during the time it takes to read this article, says this story from NASA, something will happen high overhead that until recently many scientists didn't believe in. A magnetic portal will open, linking the Earth to the Sun 93 million miles away. Tons of high energy particles may flow through the opening before it closes again around the time you reach the end of this page. It's called the flux transfer event. What they're saying is if the magnetic field is actually weakened, it won't be able to stop this flex. And when a positive flex comes through, or actually a negative flex, it will scorch the Earth. Earth scorching. Well, you'll be able to read all this. I'll have links to this main article, and you'll be able to go to all these articles. The Nexus, Australia, reviews magnetic reversals and evolutionary leaps. And there, they talk about the review of his book, Magnetic Reversals. Carbon falls from the sky, the result of interaction between the Earth's magnetic field and solar wind, but uh, so do radiogenic agenic elements such as iridium and strontium and even oil. See, oil could be could rain down on us. Oil may have rained down. That was one theory. I think Velikovsky said how we got oil. Was it rained down from uh, Comet Venus when it opened the uh, magnetic field of the Earth up when it passed real close? But that's another story. And Bithrin, these elements, rains, are most prolific during magnetic field reversals which happened about every 11,500 years about the time civilization started up uh, from the last time we had civilization I think we went through several high advanced civilizations all destroyed through this 11,000 or actually 11 to 13,000 year cycle and it's coming to us again and this is something that's coming down the pike at us this is uh, Harvard Felix has analyzed the best evidence from a range of fields to conclude that ice ages, extinction events, and creation bursts coincide with, if are not caused by, man magnetic field reversals and not just the Earth, but of the Sun. And you can read, that's probably part of this book here, not by fire, but by ice is another talking about how the ice ages in when we had a heating flare. Got more. Geomagnetic field reverses in a flash. September 2nd, rocks just north of a truck stop along I-80 in Battle Mountain, Nevada, provide evidence of a super-fast reversal of Earth's magnetic polarity. Researchers say such magnetic reversals would be no big deal. But would they, if they're real quick like that? Magnetic reversal number three on the list of potential Armageddons. They even came up with a list of Armageddons and all these scientists got together and said number three would be a magnetic reversal. That's in the book 2012 if you haven't seen it. Um, 
It's put, put out by, uh, oh, I'll think of her name in a minute. As a matter of fact, I have the book right here. I'll just hold it up to the camera and you'll be able to see this book right here. 2012. If you haven't seen this book, it's put out by Alexandra Bruce. She's a very good Galactic size explosions fueled by magnetic forces. Scientists have found evidence that magnetic fields are behind huge cosmic explosions. Did a giant comet kill the mammoths? April 1st of 10. Some 13,000 years ago, the Earth was struck by thousands of Tungunsta-sized cometary fragments over the course of an hour, leading to a dramatic cooling, says this article on Daily Science. Uh, what else we got here? World destroyed in a conflagration every 10,800 years. August 23rd, 09. I've just been rereading Emmanuel Velikovsky's 1950 book, Worlds in Collision. Velikovsky writes of Herculeus, who taught that the world is destroyed in conflagration after every period of 10,800 years. If you've read Magnetic Reversal and Evolutionary Roots, you'll understand why these words jump out at me. Diamonds rain from the sky. April 8, 2009. Scientists have discovered microscopic diamonds, nano-diamonds, that many Ice Age sites across the North America and tiny diamonds rained from the sky about 12,900 years ago. It's an article also. You'll be able to read all these articles on that website when I post it up on YouTube and it will be down in the description you know where that is it's the little box down in the corner underneath the video it has two chevrons upside down or actually they're, yeah they're upside down chevrons I guess two V's wide V's click on that and it will drop a window open with a description in it uh, no some people don't know what I meant when I said at the bottom of the video and sometimes you have to explain something like that because they're not used to knowing that people actually put links and other things at the bottom of the uh, video but if you go here and you read this see this website you may get an understanding of why they built bunkers and why <laughs> you and me are not on the save me list that we're not on the jump in the foxhole with them and be rescued from the catastrophe that's coming it's just amazing that all this stuff is happening like they're preparing for something and I don't think it's a World War 3 all out nuclear war though that was probably one of their plans but that would just contaminate the earth too bad and they would have to stay underground for several hundred years and I don't think they want to stay for several hundred years maybe a few years five or six I don't think their bunkers are made for more than about that much about five or six years of being underground and uh, but they're going to jump in their holes and we're not going to be there people we're not going to be we're not on the save me list and that's six and a half plus billion people that's gonna die because they're, they're taking the money in these black budgets and building all these bunkers and as far as I know is they got starships too just because of uh, McKenna and saying they came across names of ships that weren't in the registry of any naval ships in America and uh, and then off-world uh, uh, soldiers so I expect we already have bases on Mars and the far side of the moon well that's about all the time I have to talk about this for today I may do a part two but this is something you should do some research in yourself to start doing research in Armageddon and space possible space bases and underground bases are all over the place you can google that and find hundreds of articles on that until next time this is spellbinder reports
be good, be good at it. Good day.